Hi there, I'm Resident Evil Knievel and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkness. Now we must go and find the man on the cross but I've been trying to do that like, I tried that yesterday but there was no luck in that and I'm trying to summon the darkness right now but it's strange why I haven't got the darkness powers at the moment because there's actually a collectible down there as you can see glowing at the far distance but the way you can get that is by you know summoning, you know, summoning the darkness so you can sliver over there. But for now, let's see if we can bust out these lights so we can... Oh, totally missed that. Um, so, let's see if we can summon the darkness now. Yes, we can. So, this is how you're going to collect the collectible down there, the letter. So, it's kind of a little secret which I just found out recently. Because I don't observe these areas much. But there you go. There is a collectible right there. And it just retracts when I'm just about to collect it, so we've got to be really quick. But yeah, there's a bell down, you know, just below the, um, this area. And that bell is a... Okay, alright. That light is the main source of fuckingness. Fuckingness? Is that even a word? Anyway, the main bell, which I'm sure loads of people were trying to actually move out of the way, but couldn't find... Am I in the right area? Oh, oh my god, this is not my day, is it? So, the main bell, which you must use your darkness powers in order to move. Now, you have to use the darkness powers called the demon arms. Which are those arms used to slap out the light, primarily. So, I'm sure there's loads of people that were wondering how to do that, you know. Because... I'm like one of many people who's wandering around this area for a good few hours, I would say. Oh, you don't have to sh shoot him, but I chose to shoot him anyway, because, I don't know, you tell me. Maybe I'm evil. Yeah, anyway. What the fuck? Alright. Debris falling. Lucky it didn't land on my head. So, that's the build I'm talking about. Well, not this. It's actually a light, but... If we use our... Um, demon arms if we use the R1 button or RB button depending on what um, version you're playing you can move the light bell come on out of the way bell and now it's stuck in my way so that's how you move the bell out of the way now this is the area which I was getting stuck on last time when I was trying to record it's like a you're in the hills basically because there's a hill obviously it goes from one side to the other but there's a swarm of enemies which which scare the shit out of me basically but if you deviate from the path there's a lightning flash which happens and it resets your path and the major majority of these enemies you don't even have to face if you can help it you can actually avoid most of these enemies you don't need to fight all of them, because there's, there's a shitload of enemies, trust me. Ah! See? They fucking notice me now. Time to die! Fucking prick. Right. If we can make this across without getting detected. But no, we can't. Our slivering darkness is actually quite useful around here. I've died a lot around this area, trust me. Well, obviously, trust me, because. You know that I suck at this game. Oh. Anyway, that's the main source of horrible light. Wrong power. Let's just switch back to do to the slivering darkness. I haven't forgotten a technical name for this for this power. That's another annoyance when they shoot you and they discover you. Okay, okay. Let's just try long distance shooting here. Once he's down, we can actually eat the shit out of him. They're more easy once they're on the floor. He's not dead, is he? He's not dead, you see? Yeah, he's dead once you bite, up, bite him up the ass. I want to devour him, I just can't find the prompt. Come on, I know you're somewhere. I'm seriously... I'm seriously pissed. Come on! Just divide a heart. Uh, right. 
So, if we can do this, I hope I don't go on the wrong path. From reading the description of the, oh, you motherfucking cunts! See, there's a lightning flash there, which um, each lightning flash will make your darkness powers retract. Because obviously it's a very strong, you know, source of light. Just summon the darkness. I think from reading the select menu. Ah, fuck. I can't even speak properly without these guys making me pause. I know I'm going to die right now. I know I'm going to fucking die. I told you. Okay, what sucks about this now is actually you have to start all the way from the belt area. Which is the fucking place. And that collectible is not collected, but I'm not going to go back there. This game's too much of a fucking headache. So let's move this bell for the hopefully the last fucking time. Come on. Oh, stupid light source. Do you want to go out or what? You don't want to go out. Come on, stupid bell. You can do your ding dongs over there. I believe you now, Darkness. Once we enter this area, hell does await us. There's just a shitload of enemies around here. But there is a crucified man in this area which I can't find. Let's just shoot these lights out. Or rather, just slap them actually. No. Ugh, what a nuisance. Right. Slap. Do you want to... How? Okay. Okay. Slap that light. Do you want to slap or what? No, you don't. Fair enough. Make your use with the slivering tactic. Even though, you know, the darkness can just do, you know, one-hit kills with these guys. So they need to, you know, shoot them multiple times and they get back back up again. I hate this area with a passion. It's so hard. You don't understand how much I hate this area. The sooner we find out man of the crucifix, the better. Okay, so see there's a path. It's a straightforward path apparently to a guide that I was reading up on. On IGN. Let's hope this time is a result because last time I just lost my path you think the area is cleared of enemies once you clear this first area but then there is a shitload more I've read somewhere that that actually respawn themselves which is an even bigger annoyance this area will give me a heart attack I'm never playing this, this area again after this let's play and this guy is immune to my shots. So let's bite him up the arse and in a friendly way. That sounded wrong again. No, you can't bite no up the arse in a friendly way. Unless you're having sex with him or... Right. We better not lose our path. Ah, you fuck. Okay, that was a pretty fast retractable. Okay, it's getting up again. I hope you die this time. And this slow, this weapon's pretty slow at, you know, um, reloading. Its reloading rate is shit. Come on, Devour. That's very good. <sighs> Apparently, this is a straightforward path, but honestly, I got I got lost without. You know, without a belief. I am so scared of losing my path. So, what was, what was I going to say before? I was going to say about the select menu. From reading what I've read, apparently, you know, just um, the darkness can see what you can't see. So, uh, I've lost my words here again. So, the crucifix man might be visible just by having the darkness summoned. 
I'm sure there's someone else around here. There's gunshots around here. I don't know where they're coming from. Okay, he's shooting at us. So let's quickly... Ah, oh, you... Okay, let's try and get this... Got you there. Pesky little fucker. I hate this area with a passion. I really do. He's gonna get up now. I know he's gonna get... See what... Will you fucking stay down? 